what's up, what's up, everybody? We have some new information on some new monsters that are apparently coming to Summoner's War. Two new monsters. Uh, that Some of this information is from a data mine of a patch that we installed earlier today. So let's take a look at it. We have two new monsters. I'm excited. Are you excited? It's about damn time. It's been so long since we got any new monsters. I mean, this is the longest I think we've ever waited to get new monsters. That's why people are like, it's Summoner's War dying. It's Summoner's War dying. Oh my god, Summoner's War is dying. Oh my god. Because people are leaving, right? So we know that. New people are coming in, so I mean it's an in and out thing, but uh, I th people are just whatever. But people are saying that also because there's no monsters, and it's like okay, we need something to kind of counter the current uh, the current the current arena situation uh, to throw a wrench in it and mess everything up and mess up people's strategies and be like, no, now we have to figure this out again. Uh, so let's see what's going on with these. Uh, I'm gonna show you the first one is the Dice Magician. That's not him. That's not him. But that is, uh, that's just, I found a magician. I was like, let's put a picture on the screen. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go over these skills. This way you can see them in the little thing. Uh, if you if you can't read it that low, I mean, I figured I'd just do it so you can, uh, you can see along. Uh, so you can read along if you want. But I'll just talk about him. Okay, so with the first skill of the Dice Magician, we have Roll Dice. Uh, rolls two dice to attack the enemy target two times, grants an effect according to each number you get for two turns as follows. Unrecoverable, decreased defense, increased chance of missing, which is glancing hit. Instantly gains another turn if you get the same number. Instantly gains another turn if you get the same number. Okay, so we have... Uh, <laughs> this is just an Orion with also debuffs on the first skill. Great. Great! That's exactly what we need. Orion with debuffs on the first skill. Can we get any more ridiculous comp to us? How do we only get an S? S for sh... sh, 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 sh. Score. Uh, poopy score. Uh, so... So Ardella already, I, I, you see Ardella, you see that girl up there. Uh, the magical archer. Uh, she already does... Uh, something similar to this. She does a different thing based on her element advantage or disadvantage over the monster that she's attacking. Uh, so this is this is cool. We either get the unrecoverable, decreased defense, or increased chances of missing. Um, it only says four, five, and six, though. So does that mean if we get one, two, or three, we don't get any harmful effects? We don't land any harmful effects? Uh, and then instantly gain, and maybe that makes up for the fact that, uh, there's, like, a little proc built in. So it's just really RNG. You could get, like, defense break and another turn, or you could get nothing and no other turn. And it could just be a first skill that does nothing, like, maybe, like, the dragon's first skill, right? Uh, then the second skill, we have two different second skills. Uh, dice trick, two of the, two of the magicians have, two of the dice magicians have, and then the unlucky seven, the other three magicians have, I guess. Now, a dice trick, the first one rolls two dice to attack all enemies, AoE, randomly grants unrecoverable, decreased defense, and glancing hit for two turns. More effects will be granted as the sum of the numbers increases, instantly gains another turn if you get the same number. So, 1-1 one, one gets another turn, 2-2 two, two gets another turn. Built-in violent procs! Oh, wow! Oh, yeah! Because the violent procs weren't already ridiculous enough, right? Why don't you just give extra nonsense oh god oh god <laughs> oh, this this RNG isn't already crazy enough I don't want to know what they're gonna do with the nonsense on this one uh it's gonna be the same number all the time same number oh six six four four one one oh thank you thank you awesome amazing uh so what Think about this like the fire and water polar, uh, not polar queen, desert queen skills. Uh, because we have the harm, the glancing hit, the defense break, and the, uh, unrecoverable, right? So it's really very similar to that. The only thing is it's more RNG, more effects granted as the sum of the numbers increase. Uh, it still gains another turn if you get the same number. It's, so it's based on, it's like that, but based on dice. So just think about it like that. Uh, then we have Unlucky 7 rolls 2 dice to attack all enemies and stun them for 1 turn. If the sum of the numbers is greater, we better got a double S on it. SINGLE S! Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Where was I? 
Uh, so the other three have the unlucky seven rolls two dice. This is their second skill, remember, second skill. Uh, two dice to attack all enemies, stuns them for one turn if the sum of the numbers is greater than seven. And decrease the attack speed if the number is less than, if the sum is less than seven. Instantly gain another turn if you get the same number. So either we stun or we speed break. That's not, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, think about Veramos' second skill is an AoE stun, right? And we have, who has an AoE speed break second skill? I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't, I don't remember on the top of my head. I know there's other monsters that have AoE speed breaks, but not the second skill. I know there's some. I know there's, well, like, uh, Mantura second skill, uh, AoE speed break. But this one also, this one could stun or AoE speed break. Uh, and it also has an extra turn if you get the same number mechanic. Then we have the third skills. Dice ma- Okay, so each one has a separate third skill. A couple passives in there. Uh, dice Madness rolls the dice four to- I don't know which element is going to be which. And this is just- This could change. This is just the things that have been data mined already. Uh, rolls the dice four times to attack all enemies. AoE. Four times. The larger the number of dice, the greater the damage. Okay, so if we get like- this could be an AoE nuke. If we get like 1-1, one, one, does no damage. If we get like 6-6, six, six, well it's 4 times, 4 dice. So 6-6-6-6 six, 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 six is just a massive amount of damage. If the same number as the previous number, the attack ignores the enemy's defense. <laughs> AoE ignore defense! Okay! Okay, random damage, AoE ignore defense. So this is the new... This is the new... Probably... Cause this, how much damage is this gonna do? Is this gonna be like Xeros type damage but ignore defense? Or is this gonna be like Lucian type damage? Cause Lucian does less damage than a Xeros does, but the fact that it ignores defense, there's nothing stopping it from doing, you know. Uh, yeah, if Lucian didn't ignore defense, his, his multiplier would be lower. But, we have ignored defense. This, I mean, this could do, this is so crazy. This is so crazy. So RNG. Because there's not enough RNG in Summoner's War as it is. It's so crazy. We could do no damage and not ignore defense and do like 5,000 damage and like not nuke anything and whatever. We're all dead. Or we can get 6666 six, 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 and the greater the damage, the, 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 or the larger the number of dice, the greater the damage. And if it's the same as previous, Ignores defense, so massive damage plus ignore defense. So we could do nothing or massive damage ignore defense. AoE. Right? And this is already, this is the second, whatever monster that has this, either way, they have double AoEs. Which is not bad. And ignore defense. God damn, man. God damn. It's gotta be a 5. This has gotta be a nat 5, right? This has gotta be a nat 5. Uh, or, I mean, it could be a 4-star and just damage multiplier is low, but... It, it, it looks like an it looks like an at 5 So we have roll again, passive for the next, uh, dice magician. Uh, again, I don't know which element it is. Rolls two dice at the start of each turn if an ally dies to revive... So this only happens if the ally dies to revive, right? Rolls two dice at the start of each turn if an ally dies. To revive one dead ally if you get the same number. Okay, so if we if we get the same if we get one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, whatever, we revive a dead ally. Is this Well I mean I guess it doesn't even it doesn't make sense if it would do not we don't need to do anything if no one's dead, right? So what are we gonna do? Roll two dice and then nothing because no one's dead, right? So maybe it only activates if someone's dead. It looks to me like that's the case. The ally will be revived with more HP as the sum of the numbers increases. Okay, so if you roll, if an ally dies, and you, next time you get your turn, uh, you roll a 1-1, one, one, they magically revive, and they have barely any health, right? But if you, next turn, the ally dies, right? Next turn, you get your turn, you get a 6-6, six, six, and revived full health. But you can, Literally, literally, it's a passive. You can be stunned, and every time you get your turn, you can revive something. You could revive something, in theory, with full health. Without even getting a turn. 
right? As long as as long as your attack age fills up, you get a turn. The passive goes on. You don't need to actually use the skill because it's a passive. You could revive an ally with full HP. So that's a fun one. Uh, that has the potential to be insane. Uh, then we have to live or die passive, which is the next uh, for the next one, the next dice magician. Rolls one dice at the start of each turn. The damage inflicted to the enemy will be increased up to 50% when attacking. Uh, if the number of the dice is large and the damage inflicted by the enemy will be reduced up to 50% when attacked if the number of the dice is small. The effect is not accumulated with the other damage decrease effects. Okay. The other damage decrease. Well, okay, I. Oh. One dice at the start of everyone's turn? Or is it at the start of just. Because this could be everyone's turn, or this could be just. I'm, I'm thinking of the wording. It seems. It's a little confusing. Increased up to 50% when attacking if the number of the dice is large. Okay, good. We're doing double S again. Good. So, this happened. This is two different things. When you're attacking, you can do more damage. Or, when they're attacking, they, can, they will do less damage. But RNG. Could be. Uh, okay. I want to see how that works, though, in, in actual use. And who gets that? Uh, then we have returned dice, makes the attack bar. That one doesn't seem as crazy as the th massive amount of damage with ignored defense. That one seems the craziest one, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> and then what do we have? Return dice, makes the attack bar of all enemies and allies change to zero. Makes the attack bar of all enemies and allies change to zero. And increases the attack speed of all allies for two turns. This effect can't be resistant to ignores, ign ign ignores immunity. Wh what? <laughs> okay, I changed my mind. I changed it. This one's the most ridiculous one. Everyone's attack age goes to zero. So, Varad, cooldown, Ganymede, cool like, like Varad and Ganymede. Everyone's attack age is zero, right? Like a Ganymede. Um, increase the attack speed for all allies. Like, both teams, zero. And then your team gets increased speed and cannot be resisted and ignores immunity. So screw Will Runes, screw Chloe. Chloe's no longer a thing. Well, Chloe's like Chloe is really not a thing in high level arena, right? No one uses Chloe in, in Guardian Arena. Uh, was, I mean, maybe some do, but I know some some do. I've seen her before, but it's rare. Uh, cause everyone's got, everyone's Tiana or, or other strippers. Um, so it's just, it's wasting a spot that high up. Um, but there's, oh, there's also will runes and stuff. It cannot be resisted, ignores immunity. Holy crap, man. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> what are you, why? Everyone's attack age is zero. Increase the attack speed of all allies. Can't be resisted and ignores ignores immunity. I'm still having a I'm still wrapping my head around that. That's so crazy. That's crazy, man. Uh, then we have destiny dice rolls two dice. I'm still I'm like still. I got I need I need a minute to process that return dice. All right. Cause that's got that's got some combo potential. I'm just trying to think about the best use of it. Uh, Destiny dice is the next one. It's the final final third skill for S rank, you butthole. Uh, the final skill the skill for the final dice magician. These have got to be five stars, right? These have, these are well, we've confirmed. I'm looking at this. They're definitely got to be five stars. Rolls two dice to decide the HP state of the enemy, excluding the boss or the ally target, according to the number of dice. Randomly, okay, more randomness. Uh, the return dice is not random, though. The return dice is very... This is what this does. Uh, two dice to decide the HP state of the enemy, excluding the boss or, or the ally target, according to the number of dice. Gains another turn if you get the same number, which we've seen before. Uh, so basically, like a built-in violent. Cannot be resisted, ignores immunity. 
decide the HP stage. So this looks like you can either use it on an ally or an enemy, I guess. And it's going to... F I Forgive me if I'm wrong, but that's what it looks like. And it's going to... Either... Take a... It's, it's gonna randomly reassign their HP. So if they have full HP, use it on the enemy. Maybe you get like... 1-1, uh, one, one, and then their HP is totally drained and they're almost dead, right? Or if you have... Or, I mean, it could, you could roll a 6-6 six, six, and then, like, their HP is, like, fully... The enemy's HP is fully restored. Uh, or then you could do... You could do it on your teammate and the same thing. If your teammate is really, really low on health. Uh, but this looks like... The, here's another thing that I'm seeing. Decide the HP state of the enemy. So it's not an actual heal. So if you're heal blocked, this should reassign the HP state so that you are back up that you can it's not a heal so the heal block it's it would still ignore that it looks like to me that's what it is can't be resisted and ignores immunity so if you have chloe you can still set the hp state to zero of the enemy without even chloe like just go through chloe okay ignores immunity lovely all right so those those are for the dice magician Oop, nope. Oop. And now we have the... Yeah, I know. These aren't, guys, these aren't actual pictures of the monsters, okay? Uh, we have the Harp Magician. So please don't think that these are actual pictures of the monsters. Uh, skill 1, Tempting Dream. Attacks the enemy target to absorb the attack bar by 15% with a 30% chance. Puts the enemy to sleep for one turn with a 10% chance. Damage increasing according to your attack speed. Attack speed based monster, okay. And this is all of them. This doesn't seem super OP, just absorb attack bar by 15% with a 30% chance. And sleep. Okay. Uh, we have skill 2, looks like two of them have Nightmare Melody, and three of them have another one called Healing Music. So Nightmare Melody puts all enemies to sleep for one turn, inflicts continuous damage for two turns, 50% chance each... Oh, 50% chance each. Okay, so sleep, AoE sleep, and continuous damage. This is good for TOA. Good for TOA. Good, back up to double S. Good, that's what we need. At least double S! We need to, we need to get the tri triple as... Uh, <laughs> not yet, buddy, not yet. Uh, so... That looks like a TOA skill. This does not look like a Nat 5 from what I'm seeing. The the Harp Magician looks like it's not a, a Nat 5. Uh then we have Oh, I mean the the Dice Magician too. Some of them could be some of them could be like 4 stars, some of them could be 5 stars. I don't know. We've seen with things like the Vampire, some of them are 4 stars, some of them are 5 stars. So, but they really look like the Harp the the Dice Magicians look like 5 star monsters. Uh, then we have, uh, but these Harp Magicians look like less than five stars. They look like four stars, I guess. Um, but the dots and the sleep, yeah, we dots and sleep. Uh, and then the healing music is the other, the other three Harp Magicians have healing music, recovers the HP of all allies by 20% each and grants immunity for one turn. Okay. Little heal, 20% each, and grants immunity for one turn. So not amazing immunity, and not an amazing heal either. It's just a little bit of both. It's like uh, Delphoi, actually. But it doesn't cleanse. But also, it's the second skill instead of the third skill. Delphoi is her third skill. Uh, so I'm curious what the... Uh, yeah. Grants immunity, even though half the, half the dice magicians just ignore immunity anyway. So, GG. Uh, and then the third skill for the harp magicians... Uh, they have five different third skills. First one is Distorted Healing Magic. Again, I don't know which one has which. I don't know which element has which. And they could change to... This is just what uh, the information that we have so far. Uh, attacks all enemies to put them to sleep for one turn. Creates a shield equivalent to 30% of the damage on all allies for three turns. Damage increase according to your max HP. So, looks like... This one would be a speed HP HP monster. Damage increases according damage increase according to your max HP. But attacks to put them to sleep. Attacks and then puts them to sleep? 
Because it says damage. Usually when you see sleep skills, there's not they're not damage. There's no damage involved. Um Well aside from Brandia, Brandia her third skill does uh, damage and then puts him to sleep. Uh increase according to your max HP though. Alright. Uh, and then we have So we have a shield. She does shield and she does immunity. Or 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 maybe hold on, I just maybe she maybe that's not the one that does immunity. Uh but either way, it looks like uh with continuous damage, it's sleep, first skill sleep, right? Second skill has another sleep. This third skill, if it's distorted healing magic, if it's on the same monster with the sleep second skill, then there's a lot, there's a lot of AoE sleep, so good for TOA, I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, damage increase, okay. Uh, then we have unwanted harmony, the sec the third skill for the next uh, the next harp magician. Even the HP of the enemy target, excluding the boss and the ally with the lowest HP, decreases the HP of the enemy target by 15%. and Recovers the HP of the ally target by 15%. Effect can't be resisted and ignores immunity and invincibility. Because uh, that's really the one. If we're evening out then invincibility is the one we want to ignore. Uh, maybe that's what they meant uh, when it was translated. So let's say you're fighting, let's say you're fighting against a team with Chloe, right? The arena defense, they have a Chloe, uh, they do the Chloe fanatic, and then someone Theomars and smacks you around and one of your two, one of your monsters is almost dead, right? So you use this unwanted harmony and you're going to even out the HP of whoever attacked you, maybe, with whoever got attacked, and then they're gonna suck up some HP and give it to whoever got attacked with. Yes. <laughs> uh, said that very strange. And then we have self assaults. It doesn't seem that crazy amazing yeah these are these are not nat fives these can't be nat fives then we have salvation song passive for the third one uh the third harp magician offsets the incoming damage that may cause your ally to die and instantly gains another turn automatic effect offsets the incoming damage that may cause your ally to die and instantly with what percentage chance that needs a little bit more description because I think it needs. I think we need to see how that works, actually. Because Garrow offsets the incoming damage that may cause you to die with a 50% chance. But this is for your ally and gains another turn. So this is kind of like Garrow, the Fire Ninja. But it's an ally and not you. And instantly gains another turn. Okay. Uh, maybe there's, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's the one with the healing, healing, uh, music too, so that you instantly gain another turn and then you recover the HP after that. Uh, let's see. And then this fourth one, the fourth Harp Magician, Dreamy Leader Passive, removes a random beneficial effect granted on the enemy every turn and puts the enemy to sleep for one turn while the beneficial effect is successfully removed. Removes a random beneficial effect to grant on the enemy every turn. Passive. So, you, for things like this, we usually we want to see violent runes on them. Put the enemy f to sleep for one turn when the beneficial effect is successfully removed. I want to see this. I will again. I want to see this in effect. I want to see this in effect. Okay, because this could be fun for PvP for maybe guild battles. But I want to see it. And then we have Song of Switch Destiny. This has got to be an OP one, right? It's got to be an OP one. Uh, let's see. Song of Switch Destiny switches the current attack bar and the HP with the enemy, excluding the boss or another allied target. Because you know, excluding the boss is like they're really OP single target things. 
Uh, well, maybe not OP, but OP if you could switch the HP of one of your teammates and a boss that's up to full HP. Like, yeah, let me just do this to the raid boss. Let me just do this to TOA and then give the, <laughs> you know, give him like 1% health. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, no. Not TOA 100. <laughs> One shot the boss. Too OP. Um, no, but this, uh, excluding the boss. Switch the current attack bar and HP with the enemy or another ally target. This can't be resisted and ignores immunity. So again, Song of Switched Destiny is kind of like Unwanted Harmony. Because the Unwanted Harmony evens out the HP of the target. And the ally with the lowest HP. It's similar to that, but this is switches. So it doesn't even it out. This one just switches completely. Excluding the boss or another ally. To but it's kind of it's kind of similar though. It's kind of similar. So can't be also can't be resisted and ignores me. So it's very similar to Unwanted Harmony. I think the there are some clearly crazy strong ones. Let's talk about those. Let's talk about those. We already we already talked about them, but. Uh, these dice magicians. These damn dice magicians. Oh, I, I don't even... Rolls the dice... The dice madness. Rolls dice four times to attack all enemies. The third skill of one of the dice magicians. Gotta be a nat five. Larger the number of dice, the greater the damage, and ignores defense. Unless it's a bad multiplier. Unless it's a crappy multiplier. I mean, unless it's like, unless the damage is based on, but it really looks like a, it's got to be a nat 5, right? So now we have a nat 5 AOE ignores defense. And we don't know what element he is. If he's water, GG summoner, summoner's war has a new meta, I guess. <laughs> then, then people have to rethink their arena defense for high level. Because then someone, then there's just going to be a ton of these dice magicians that people are using to, to nuke high level arena. Yeah. And if it's random, also a thing is, it could be good if it's if it's random for each monster. I don't know if it's random and does the same amount of damage to every monster. Uh, but if it's random and changes for each monster, then this could offset Nemesis runes because some monsters would take, would just be like destroyed immediately and then the other ones would be like not even proc the, the the nemesis right that would be that'd be so crazy but it looks like it's the same amount of damage to everyone but you, you never know you never know but it's still so i mean that one's so if it's a water monster that's crazy that's really really strong remember what i was saying like if the water joker had ignored defense then uh, random ignore defense i said that too i said Watch, they buff the Water Joker and he's got random ignore defense. I wasn't that far off. That's a, it's a Dice Magician. Okay, so it's not a Joker. It's a Dice Magician. It's kind of close. At least give me that. And ignore de random ignore defense. I've s I have said this actually before. I don't think Comptowus was listening to me specifically. I'm just saying I saw this as being like a thing that could be could come into the game. So I'm going to give myself a little credit for that. Uh, a little pat on the back. Even though it wasn't the Joker, they didn't change the Joker, but... If this is a water- it's gotta be a water or fire monster, right? And then this... The return to dice is so crazy. I'm trying to think of, uh... The return dice is the one that makes the attack bar for all enemies and allies change to zero. Increase the attack speed of all allies for two turns and can't be resisted or ignores immunity. That... That's so crazy. So, it's just, it messes up everyone. It messes up everything from everyone. And... Gives your team the advantage. But, you do still have to, uh, you do still have to move first. You do still have to move first. That's so cra- that's so crazy! Okay, so let's think about this guy with Nemesis Runes, right? Whichever Dice Magician this is, let's think about him with Nemesis Runes. 
you, against the double Lucian, right? You do the single Lucian. Uh, maybe this guy's on like, um... Because the, the, the second skill is an AoE. So maybe he's on Despair Nemesis? Or maybe he's double Nemesis or whatever? Lucian, first Lucian goes, pushes up his attack gauge. He returns dice and reduces the uh, the attack age of the entire enemy team, including the second Lucian. Can't be resisted, ignores immunity, and then speed buffs your entire team. So you can do whatever you guys are probably going to move next after that, right? It's eventually going to fill up, and you guys are going to move next and do whatever you need to do. But... This is another, I think this is another Lucian counter, or whatever else. Nemesis seems like it'd be nice on Nemesis. Uh, it's just such a crazy skill. It's such a, those two are, those two I think are the craziest ones. Because the other one's like, the the second skills, the, 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 um, the dice trick we already see, the, the two dice to attack all enemies and randomly grants unrecoverable de decreased defense. We basically see that with the Desert Queens. It's just more RNG involved, because that's exactly what we need. But this massive, this maybe massive damage, ignore defense, how big could this be? If it's random, if it's RNG based, the potential could be that it's got a high, because you can't, you can't cap it at the same as Lucian, right? You can't cap it as the same Lucian damage, because then, then you're like, then why do you need this, right? Then you just Lucian, Lucian does the same damage and it's consistent. So the cap has to be higher than Lucian. So you have to be able to do more damage than Lucian, but it's all RNG based. Because the RNG kind of makes up for the fact that it's more damage, right? Less consistency, more crazy, YOLO, what the hell. Uh, this is, this is, I mean, this is good for me for doing videos on it. This is good for... Anyone that's do that has a Twitch channel or a, or a YouTube channel or whatever that's like, oh, okay, yeah, RNG is good. RNG is good for business. It's good for it's good for uh, because it makes for fun videos, right? RNG makes for either way, whether you win or lose, it makes for fun videos. But I think people doing this in arena are gonna get frustrated at all the times it fails. It's it makes for fun videos though. That's what, that's all I'm saying. It makes for fun videos. Uh, but it's also, it's, it's, it's like Lucian meets the Dark Kung Fu Girl. The Dice Madness is the one that I'm the most excited about. Ignore enemy defense and random damage. I want this, I'm not gonna get it, but I want this. Maybe this is the Nat 5 that I've been waiting for! Come to us. Dice Madness. All right, guys. Let me know what you think in the uh, in the in the comments below. Wow, the video is so long already. Let me know what you think in the comments below uh, about these monsters. I think the first one is the is the, the the dice magician has got to be five stars, and then the harp magician is probably like a four stars. So it's crazy. I mean, like it could be like some could be like four and five mixed or three and four mixed for the harp magicians. I don't know, but uh, yeah. The, the dice magicians are definitely stronger. Definitely the stronger of the two. Alright guys, let me know your opinions in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you. I mean, the this could change. It could change. Uh, this is just the information that I have right now from the data mines from the, from the game. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you, in, as always, in the next one.